Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to this week's Children's Corner. Today is a very special day in the life of the church. You might notice behind me the altar is in red today. And that reminds us of a, a very special event which happened in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. It was called the Day of Pentecost the day the Holy Spirit came on the disciples in tongues of fire. And that's why we dress the church in red to symbolize that fire in their lives. But I'll come back to that in a few minutes. I brought a balloon with me today because balloons are great fun to play with, aren't they? Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do with balloons. Some people are into balloon modeling, get long, thin balloons, and then bend them into all sorts of shapes and twist them and tie them to make animals and all sorts of things with them. Other people like to use balloons to decorate a room for a party. And other people like to use balloons to play with. You can play all sorts of games, tossing them in the air, trying to see how long you can keep them up in the air before they drop. And once you're finished, one of the, one of the things I love doing is jumping on them and making them burst. You can have lots of fun with balloons. Now, I think this is a lovely balloon, and it's even a red one for Pentecost. But it's a lovely colour, but what's wrong with this balloon? It's not going to be much use to decorate a room, is it? It's not going to be much, room to, much fun to toss it in the air and play with it. There's something missing, isn't there? You, what do you think's missing? There's no breath inside it. If I breathe into it, I won't go too far in case it bursts in me. We, we can inflate it and then it can be used as a decoration or it can be used for a game or whatever you want to use it for. The balloon needs to be filled with breath before it's any use to anyone. If the breath goes out of it, it's no use again. And that, that reminds us of something really important about the church. As I said at the start, today is the day of Pentecost. It's the day where... That is, after Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to the disciples for 40 days and he told them that he was going back to the Father, he was going to ascend back up to heaven. So after 40 days, he ascended back to God. But he said he would send them another comforter, another advocate, another friend, the Holy Spirit, to lead them and guide them and fill them with God's new life. And that happened on 50 days after Jesus rose from the dead. 10 days after the ascension, we celebrate Pentecost the coming of the Holy Spirit. And the disciples were locked away in the upper room. They were afraid of the Jews because they'd seen Jesus, their leader, arrested, scourged, tried, crucified, dead and buried. And they knew what would happen to his followers. And so they were worried about what, would, what life would be like for them. And suddenly on the day of Pentecost, out they go into the streets of Jerusalem and tell everybody about Jesus and preach the gospel and this wonderful message of new life and hope as if there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. What was it that had changed them? It was the Holy Spirit. Before the Holy Spirit came into their lives, they were a bit like this balloon. They were lifeless. They were good for nothing, really. And suddenly the Holy Spirit filled them, and out they went with excitement and preached a message. That, and many people listened, and that very first day, 3,000 people said, we want to believe in this Jesus. And those 3,000 were baptized. And that was the beginnings of the church that day. So the balloon reminds us of the importance of the breath of the Holy Spirit filling our lives. Without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. But with the Holy Spirit filling us, we can do amazing things for God.
God bless you. God keep you safe. And see you again next week.